Hey guys, General Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land, or whatever part of the world that you are in. Uh, we're just going to do uh, some quick updates here on uh, a couple of things and let you guys see what we've been up to around here. Uh, we are in the fall now, so our garden is over with. Uh, this is my garden area, uh, the new garden area that we, uh, we made this past uh, spring. And what we've been doing is we've been filling this in with, uh, with wood chips. Uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and do the old uh, Back to Eden garden because they work great. Um, you can see our little fruit orchard down there. We put wood chips and we've got another pile of wood chips down there. Uh, this side just close to the firing range there uh, for another little garden patch back there. My neighbor uh, works for a uh, tree trimming company and he's been taking the uh, little white ranger truck to, to work. And the deal was he can take that thing to work as long as he brings back wood chips. So, uh, so far he's been uh, holding up to his end of the deal and we're going to try to fill this in, uh, bring it out, uh, you know, as far as we can, however many chips we have where we can get, you know, a good uh, four inches or so of chips all through that area. And uh, we will start using that hopefully next year. Uh, it may not be broke down a whole lot underneath and I realize that. Um, but now we're getting them down there in the fall, so they'll be sitting uh, down through the winter time and the early spring uh, before we start planting, and uh, we're definitely going to use it regardless of whether or not um, it's uh, completely ready or not. Um, so that's uh, a garden update. Like I said, there's the uh, the little fruit area down there. The uh, we got the blackberries over here, and then we got our fruit trees that are coming around, the, uh, coming along nicely, growing up nice this year. And then uh, we're going to do another uh, bed of wood chips back there uh, for another garden area. Uh, I don't know. I want to have a bigger garden. You know, uh, why grow grass when you can grow vegetables? So, all right, now let's head uh, down to the barn area and uh, we'll give you some updates on some stuff down there. All righty, what we're looking at here is our, this is our chicken coop, our chicken house. Um, my good, good buddy, Mr. Moving On Greg, thank you, Greg, he had some scrap pieces of siding and stuff uh, laying around. So what we did was we built another little smaller house uh, on the side of the chicken house. Uh, this already had, uh, if you all remember, um, this already had the chicken wire fence around it that we used to have for our chickens. Um, but now that we let the chickens run around over here in the, in the goat pen, We've got this bigger pen here that we decided we were going to use to, uh, to to give to our pheasants that we're going to keep. Uh, uh, we got remember we got our pheasants right here in uh, the grow out. Hi, little dudes. This is the pheasant grow out pen, but the the rooster and the hens that we keep are going to need a little more space and a little more I don't know space, uh, their own place. That way we've got this pen over here uh, just to keep it just as a grow out uh, whenever we hatch out. Uh, more pheasants so uh, we're going to I got a few nest boxes built on the inside there if I can get down the hill here I'll show you alrighty yay made it down the hill without falling Woo you can see inside there I've got a couple of nest boxes uh, we're gonna fill them up with hay I'm gonna put some uh, uh, some bigger you know a little more brush pile uh, some sticks and stuff in here uh, the, the pheasants like the uh, the like the cover, and uh, eventually we're going to paint this the same color as the chicken house. I hope, uh, but we've got it all enclosed chicken wire across the top. Uh, we've got it all woven together so that uh, the pheasants aren't going to get out, and there uh, won't be any critters getting in. Um, and you see right here next to the corners, uh, all the corners around here, I've got traps, uh, live traps to catch any. Uh, any coons and whatnot that uh, tries to get in and around uh, scratching around the chicken house. We haven't had too much trouble uh, since the spring, but uh, they're they're still going to be around. So there you go. Uh, that's going to be the uh, permanent housing for our pheasants. It's a little bit bigger. They got a little more space, a little more sunlight. Uh, we're going to figure out something to hang onto the door there. Maybe just an old rug uh, for the winter time uh, to kind of bring it down to about here to help keep some of the heat in and the cold air out. But uh, they should fare really, really well through the winters that we have down here in southern Ohio because they're a, they're a northern breed. They, they, they do well in the cold up north and stuff. So, Also, somebody had asked me um, how many eggs you get uh, per hen. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know anything about pheasants yet. Uh, hopefully somebody in the comments will, uh, will answer that question. 
I don't know, I've heard, you know, eight to 12 per hen, but I don't really know because I haven't had anything happen yet with mine. Um, I don't think that I'll be getting any eggs out of the pheasants until uh, the springtime. Um, so, but we'll keep everybody updated on that. And like I said, if anybody knows the answer, I know there's a, there's a lot of viewers out there who have uh, raised pheasants in the past. So uh, if you can remember, you know, what we can expect per, uh, per hen, that'd be awesome. So, and of course we have our little dark Cornish chickies over there. And uh, on this side of this little garden down here, they're doing well. So now let's go up and uh, take a look at the bunny barn. Okay guys, we are out here in the bunny barn. We have got uh, three does that have uh, baby bunnies now. These are, uh, they're all uh, New Zealand, California crosses, except for this one down here. She's a Flemish giant. And they were all bred with a Champagne to Argent buck. Um, we've got a total of 25 bunnies. So even if they all dress out of five pounds a bunny, five times 25, what is that, 125? pounds of, of meat for the winter so uh, yeah and the bunnies are going well they're right at about a month old now and they're growing nice come here little dude they're looking good they got definitely got the champagne to origin colors hi little man and uh, they're going to be like I say they're going to be uh, really good sized rabbits you see mama here she's a good sized rabbit and she's a very good mother they, uh, they're all jumping in and out of the nest boxes now. So it won't be probably but about another two weeks or so and we will move these um, move these bunnies over here to the other side of the barn uh, which we have our, where we have our grow out cages hanging and then when they get a little bit bigger then we'll move them out to the big grow out pen um, out there in the barnyard. Something that I did want to mention is this fan that we have here in the background. Uh, this is an RV fan. Uh, it's just one that you uh, plug into your cigarette lighter for your, like your big trucks or RVs or whatever. You can find them in the, uh, the automotive section of your Walmarts or whatever. But I just cut the plug off and wired it right to uh, one of the solar panels that I uh, bought from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar. And it does a really good job of keeping some good airflow through here and keeping this barn a lot cooler than what it was when there was no, no air movement at all. So. As you can see, we've got our grow up pens that we're getting ready to set up. We gotta, we're gonna, you know, give everybody water and food. It's that time of day. Uh, the baby bunnies are eating and they're going through a lot of water. There's some of the bunnies there, but it's working out really well, and uh, it is producing a lot of food. They're producing a lot of food for us. Like I said, 125 pounds. If they all dress out of five pounds, uh, that's a lot of food that uh, we can put away. That's a lot of meat we can put away for the winter time. So uh, there you have it. Um, we are pretty much business as usual around here, trying to keep the homestead going uh, and making improvements as we go. We'll, uh, we'll share with you guys uh, the more that we do. And uh, for now, that's it for the update. Uh, we're at the uh, at end of September and uh, getting ready for the winter time. So uh, you guys very much, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, Y'all have a great day. God bless. The end. Buzz, buzz, the end.